Welcome back to YouTube. We have Ahmed again from In-Depth Tech Reviews. And in today's video, I will show you 13 hidden software and hardware features in the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro that you might have missed or didn't even know they existed. Before starting, let me remind you to subscribe to the channel if you are interested in the Pixel 6 series, as I will show you new stuff that you won't find anywhere else. And now, let's begin. Did you know that the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro have an ambient light sensor on the back? If not, let me show you this. Here is the back side of my 6 Pro facing towards the window with plenty of sunlight passing through. And as you see, the screen is very bright. But look what happens when I cover the camera visor using a piece of paper. After a few seconds, the brightness went down even though I didn't touch the front side of the phone. So let me remove the paper one more time and as you see, the brightness went all the way up back again. To confirm this, I had a closer look at the camera visor and I can clearly see a couple of hidden cutouts between the wide and ultra wide lenses that most probably one of them houses the secondary ambient light sensor for the display brightness. And I found the front and the back ambient sensors work seamlessly together depending on the direction of light, but the back sensor has more impact on the screen brightness compared to the front one. Number two, the device controls haptic feedback when you change your smart lights brightness is back again with the Pixel 6. The Pixel 4 was the last model to include this feature, and that's because of the cheaper haptic engine used in the 4A, 5, and 5A models that didn't allow this feature to exist. But with the newer models, you can enjoy some precise haptics while controlling your smart lights. Number 3. The 4X telephoto lens of the 6 Pro wobbles quite a lot when I shake the phone. So let's take a listen. But I noticed that this behavior doesn't happen when it's in use. So here is the camera app open on 1x and the lens still wobbles. Once I switch to the 4x, the noise disappears. So I hope it's a normal behavior that won't lead to damaging the telephoto lens if the phone dropped. Number 4 is also about the telephoto. When you activate the 4x zoom, the phone automatically switches to the wide angle lens if the telephoto is not able to focus on the subject, which means you are not taking advantage of the optical zoom. This feature is good in few scenarios, but most of the time it's annoying. Especially if you are trying to take a macro shot, the phone keeps switching between lenses while adjusting your camera, which will give you a hard time picking the perfect angle for your shot. But I only found one thing that forces the camera to use the telephoto, which is the zoom level. Once you reach 8x or more, the phone ignores everything and sticks to the telephoto, so it's a kind of a mess and I hope Google will add a toggle to turn off this auto switching feature if needed. Number 5, 6 and 7 are about the face unblur feature. Number 5, the photos taken using face unblur are labeled by the feature name and logo at the top right corner, so you can easily identify them. Number 6, face unblur doesn't work with night sight and I wish we had an indicator in the camera app to let us know if the feature is not in use. And number 7 is the front facing camera of the 6 Pro supports the feature while the regular Pixel 6 doesn't. And that makes sense because the 6 Pro is the one that has an ultra-wide front-facing camera and the face unblur requires an ultra-wide lens to work. Number 8. The conversation widget can go as small as a 1x1 one one size only on the 6 and 6 Pro which is something I couldn't do on any of my older Pixel models. Number 9 is Live Translate. This feature is extremely useful when you need it. It can translate any conversation in messaging apps to your preferred language. The phone will automatically translate the messages and view them as if they were originally sent that way. Plus it will give you a floating pop-up at the top that you can use to change the languages, choose to automatically translate this language, ask every time or don't translate, you can temporarily hide translations and more. And if the feature is running, Gboard will automatically start the translation mode. So by this, you and the recipient will read and type the messages in your own languages, which will surprisingly eliminate any barriers and gives you a natural chatting experience. You can activate it under settings, system, and then live translate. You can also choose the language to translate your messages to and all the ones to translate from. It supports 51 languages and it works offline by downloading the required models on the device. Number 10, under settings, security, then advanced. Here you will find a new option called suspicious message alerts. This feature will let you know if the text message includes any suspicious requests, fake links, or potential scam. And as per the description, this feature works privately on device and it won't share your messages with any apps, websites, or companies. This feature seems to be a Pixel 6 exclusive at least for now, as it didn't show up on any of my older Pixel models. Number 11. When I use Google Lens to identify products, 
Now I see a search button that takes me right away to the search results in google.com, so I don't need to manually do it myself, however everything is just a click away. Number 12, My6 Pro seems to have some sort of touch pressure sensitivity, and here's an example. Usually when I tap and hold on any tile in the quick settings area, the phone takes a half a second and then opens the relevant settings page, however when I apply some pressure it instantly opens the page without any delay. And here's a side by side comparison. That's also the case with the device controls and more. So you need to try it yourself to better understand what I mean. Number 13 and the last one. The maximum zoom level of the 6 Pro front facing camera is 2.9x versus 4x on the Pixel 5 even though the 6 Pro has an 11.1 megapixel sensor versus only 8 on the 5. And here I have two questions. Why it's lower and why 2.9x exactly? I think 2.98567x zoom will be more precise. So that's pretty much it for today. These are the most hidden features you can find in the new Pixel 6 and 6 Pro. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. Thank you for watching and see you the next video.